Welcome back. We're going to pray now. We're going to pray, first of all, to say sorry to God for the things we've done wrong this week and receive his forgiveness. Then we're going to pray the words that Jesus taught us to pray. And then finally, we're going to intercede for our lives, for our friends and families and our communities. First, let's bring our hearts to God and ask for his forgiveness and his cleansing. Merciful God, we confess that this week we have sinned in what we've thought, said, done and not done. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved others as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive us, help us and show us what we should be so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Almighty God forgives all who come to him honestly and on the basis of Jesus and asks for forgiveness. So if you've prayed those words, Almighty God forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, go in peace. Let's pray the words that Jesus taught us to pray now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We're going to pray now for ourselves, for our families and friends, and for our nation this Christmas time. Father, we want to pray for our nation this week. We lift it to you. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we pray have mercy on us. See the anxieties that thrill many hearts. See the uh, fear that, that clouds many minds. Lord, we pray that you would see our doubts and our struggles. And Lord, that you would lift our eyes in the midst of that to you. We pray that at this Christmas time, Lord, you would speak to us of your message of hope and grace and truth. Lord, that we would know what you have to say to us and that we would receive that life that endures, that faith that brings hope, that love that comforts beyond our present circumstances, beyond even this life itself. And Lord, we pray particularly for those who are afraid of uh, the spread of coronavirus this Christmas. Lord, we pray that you would give them peace. We pray that you would hold back the virus. Lord, that there would be uh, a limit to the extent to which it increases at Christmas. And Lord, that we would be able to celebrate and to live life together again. We thank you for all the progress that's being made freeing us from this pandemic. And we pray, Lord, that you would continue to guide, to shape and to empower our research, our work and our uh, effort together to get through this, through science, through community action and through political decision making. We pray for those leading our country, Lord, that you would give them wisdom again this week. We pray for those in our schools and in our businesses, Lord, that you would comfort them, that you would give them strength, that you would give them hope. Lord, we pray for those providing medical care, Lord, that you would revive their spirits and their souls as they do it. And Lord, we pray for each of us that at this season you would lift our eyes beyond our own circumstances, both to you and to our neighbour, that we would find within us birth that spirit of compassion and grace that caused you to send your son in the first place for us. And Lord, that as our faith rises, so too our capacity for compassion and care would rise. We pray particularly for your church, that you would make it a haven of love and peace and hope for many this Christmas. And so Lord, we pray that you'd fill us with joy, that you'd fill us with peace, that you'd fill us with life, and hope, and faith. In Jesus' name, amen.